Yachting Pages Media Group tests some of the newest water toys for the super yacht industry. And we're here at Yachting Pages EAMS, tried and tested the best water toys test. And we've got a load of skippers, engineers and first mates all trying out the best uh, new water toys. I'm a total novice. A lot of fun. Captains, mates, engineers and deck crew give their verdicts after rigorous hands-on testing. They're really good for kids as well. Criteria include fun factor, reliability and suitability for guests. Good to know what these toys are about, especially when you're recommending guests. The relevance of these tests is to show how you and your crew can help heighten guests' experience on your yacht. I could get used to it, I think, about 15 minutes more. Oh, you need to send it away, that's the problem. The toys were supplied by EAMS in Biot, near Antibes, here in the south of France. And owner René is on hand to add his thoughts too. Soft bottom underneath, that you've seen, it sucks to water. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. lift up. That's true, isn't it? Yeah. Steve Crow and Simon Brooks from Yachting Pages were on hand to take notes and help evaluate immediate responses from the participants. Right, How many would you give it out of five? Most of these guys were experiencing these toys for the first time. And sometimes it shows. So when you fall off, you think, oh, well, next time I'll definitely get it then. But a little bit of perseverance and training by Jake, the yacht toy guy, and all were ready to give their verdicts. Yeah, it's always great to go get some hands on experience. Questions, results, opinions, and candidates' reactions. Uh, certainly not for a beginner. First off was the flight board and the air e foil. I came today here for foil. These amazing levitating surfboards took a little bit of getting used to, hovering above the waves with sublime serenity, sometimes. It gives you a glimmer of hope as you get on the foil. 15, 9, 16 grand, and that's euros. Yeah. Always a hit with the adventurous guests is the power semi-submersible. A rather unusual variation on the jet ski or tender theme was a hybrid, perfect for dropping guests or crew on shoreside runs as well as doubling as an emergency tender when required. The powerful jet ski proved a handful with an inexperienced rider. A progression of the stately paddleboard gave mixed results from younger, fitter crew. Making an interesting contribution were the power-assisted surfboards. After a wonderful lunch provided by Green Chili Provisioning, the results of tests were collated, reactions noted and can be viewed on the Yachting Pages Media Group website.